Hello, this is Pema Chappelle Malou, and I'm going to record today about how to use Quicken to help you with your business so that you can keep track of the categories of your expenditures and your income so you can keep track between your personal and your business expenditures and um, keep them separate. Uh, if you can see here, I've got Quicken open on my computer. And I'm going to show you how to set up a new account and then how to um, make deposits and how to write out checks so that you can follow the categories and then make a report. Uh, if you go to the file menu, actually when you load Quicken, it will actually open up a window for setting up a new account. But um, for today, we're going to start with the file menu and go to New and click on New Quicken Account. This account is held at, in my particular one, TD Bank, online banking. So then we click Next to checking account. Next. Uh, whether or not you want to connect with online banking or not. Um, I'm going to click no for this. The statement ending date and the statement balance. And there they've got your account. So then you can actually make a deposit for your first one. So to do a deposit, you would go over here. And you can click Deposit. And let's say you want to deposit uh, $100. And then I'm going to show you up here that they already have listed in categories different income categories, um, gross receipts, bonuses, commissions, contract income, and what I call other income down here. Loans, rental income, all those. So this particular one will be other income. And then you hit enter. And if you want to uh, write a check, the first check would be first check number 100. Going to write it to whomever, let's say Pema Chopel Malou. And some of these check payees are already listed in there. And the last one was written to me for 9501, so it's already automatically done. Um, let's say I'm going to write the check for $50. And let's eliminate this miscellaneous. Delete. And let's say we're going to write it for a couple different things. We'll do an office expense. $25. And what could be another expense? Meals and entertainment, $25. Hit OK. And then if you want to see how you print a report, go up here to Reports, go to Banking, do a cash flow report. And that one's already loaded one for everything, so let's go to Customize.
and we want the accounts. My computer seems to be having some problems today with loading things. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. There seems to be some problems with the computer. Okay, so I'm going to Hit OK. Now, we didn't get the expenditures. Let's see what we did wrong here. Categories. Cash flow. Customize. Categories. Office expenses listed. And there's just a little bit of a problem why the report didn't Normally, the report would have the expenditures listed also, the inflows and the outflows, but um, for some reason it didn't report it. Uh, let me go back. I'm not going to save the report and look at my splits and see if I did the split right. Saved it. And we'll hit enter in case I haven't entered it. That's what's wrong. I just hadn't entered it yet. Okay, now we'll hit the report again. Banking. Cash flow. Customize. Accounts. and hit OK. There we go. It shows you have a $50 net profit. And then what you can do with your Quicken report is uh, use this for your tax purposes to send to your accountant. And all you have to do is export the data up here in a PDF format. And you can save it in a PDF format format and send it to your accountant. So you don't have to save all the receipts and everything because you can just put it in a Quicken report and then you don't have to do all the receipts at the end of the year for your account. Hope this helps you. Thank you. Bye-bye.